Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get out of a funk and break lazy habits in today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show. You know, it's amazing. I wrote this on a blog and, and, and I figured, you know what? Let me just share this with you guys because I need you to break these bad habits. And a lot of you guys may be watching saying, well, I've already had these bad habits prior to the coronavirus, right? So this goes out to people that were dealing with just unproductive just habits every day and people that are doing really well, right? You might be saying, man, I was doing really well on my diet, my workouts, but mm, not so much, you know? So, you know, I wanna share with you what I wrote. Are you feeling down and out? Are you not able to get back into your powerful and productive happy zone? Every day, each week starts to really blur together, right? Just pretty much. Before you know it, you're going back and forth to the fridge, to the couch, then watch Netflix shows, and you have zero interest in half of these Netflix shows, and you start finding out things that are wrong with your house, you know, you ever just looked around, start pointing things out or your apartment, you're saying, oh, I never noticed that crack before. You know, you start really losing it and it becomes like a pure insane marathon. Meanwhile, the only escape you get is checking your social media, the news, or maybe some random YouTube workout video of some guy that either has millions of followers because he has his shirt off or people that you're just like, who is this again? Oh, I'm going to try this workout. Look. With all this free time, you begin feeling super tired. You know, you get into this lazy, complacent place. I know the feeling as I was fat. I was lazy and I was obsessed with trying to be better, but I kept on focusing on negative things for 20 plus years. I was anxious driven. I was depressed. I was unhappy. If you let this continue, your body will be storing fat left and right, and then it will just pack super quick. Not to mention, you know, you're gonna slow down your metabolism. It's gonna mess everything all up. And your mind's gonna be fogged up. Who wants to have that, right? Well, I have good news for you because I wanna share with you some really awesome tips that just work, right? And I want you to try these out. Uh, the first one I wanna start off with is do a fun workout. Right? I'm talking about not just a fun one, but a short fun workout. All right, I don't want you doing hard workout, especially if you're just starting out or coming out from a long break. With a, uh, with a short fun workout, you will wake up your body and get it moving and grooving all over again. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm gonna insert the links to actually try some of my free workout videos, right? And if you're listening to the podcast, I'm gonna insert the links as well, but head on over to my YouTube channel so you can try these out. I'll put the links as well. Number two, trade Netflix for an inspirational and positive podcast. Yes, so if you're not already subscribed to this podcast, make sure you do, because at the end of the day, we all need to replace certain habits. And look, I love movies. I love TV shows. I love documentaries sparingly. But loading up your brain with just silly content just to waste time is super unhealthy. You know, three movies per week, a few shows per, per week, yeah, that's fine. You know, but just keep noticing I need you to really focus on you becoming better. Use time wisely. I need you to become more productive, you know. Uh, number three, start doing daily guided meditations. And yes, I'm plugging my stuff because let me tell you something right now. I thrive, and I say thrive, off of doing things that just work, right? When I learned about meditation years ago, I didn't really have a, a love, a passion behind it. But once I learned about guided meditations, it was an instant game changer. Why do I say that? Because when I created my own guided meditations, which you can try out, and I'm gonna put the links as well, right? It does, another, it does another feeling for you internally because I'm walking you through a psychological, excuse me, a psychological path in your brain from past 
positive thoughts and bringing them into the current present moment, right? And this is what I want you to start thinking. A lot of times when you're like anxious, depressed, really sad, and you're focusing on negative, negative, when you try my guided meditations, it really changes the game internally and the high vibration you feel afterwards is amazing. So make sure you try out guided meditations, whether it's mine or someone else. The same thing with the podcast, right? I'm only recommending mine because, hey, I've helped myself, I've helped thousands, and I wanna help you. I want you, uh, lastly, to journal every day and write thank you letters. I'm gonna read this to you. When you live a life full of happiness and gratitude, it is completely impossible to feel fear or anxiety at the same time, right? Every morning, morning, I want you to write at least three things that you're grateful for. Now, once you do that, I want you to write five people, just five people for now, letters, thank you letters, right? You will notice that as soon as you start writing, you will feel an inner form of happiness, peace, and a super mood shift in your mind, your soul, and your body, all right? This will get you thriving, full of energy, positive energy, and you'll also be making someone's day, right? That's awesome. You can't expect good things to happen to you if you don't wish the same for others. Always remember that. You know, and my, and my takeaway on this episode, and, and I really mean this from the bottom of my heart, is you can and, and should do this daily, right? Because you deserve the best. We deserve the best. I deserve the best. And you got to take the time for you, right? You really need to dive deep into yourself to become the best version of yourself. I want you to stop being busy and start getting productive to make yourself feel better. I promise you that you can get over this and if you're feeling stuck and if you're feeling that you're just like, wait a minute, I'm doing this stuff. Why am I, Why are things not changing, right? Maybe we just have to do some arranging, right? Just like when things aren't flowing in your living room, your bedroom, or something's not going right with your eating habits, the list goes on. My point is I'm here to help you, whether it's with my food and fitness programs, my one-on-one -on -one life, wellness and relationship coaching. I'm here for you. My team is here for you. Please let me know if this particular episode helped you. Make sure to subscribe and do me a favor, send in your questions. After this episode, you're gonna be like saying, oh my God, I got questions. Uh, what about this topic? Do me a favor, start a conversation with me. Go and hit me up, send me a voice message through my podcast, or just send a comment on YouTube. I'm here to better serve you. Keep that mind right, keep that body tight, and most importantly, know that I'm sending you tons of love. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.